What should you expect when you live with a Doberman Pinscher? Well, first, you should expect your view of the television to look a little something like this. All of your personal space is his. <laughs> there is there is no more personal space. You should expect uh, a really active, active dog and active lifestyle uh, because he's going to make sure of it. <laughs> he likes a lot of exercise and he doesn't. There might be a few behavior problems. Come, come on. Lots of attention. He gets lots of attention from strangers. Everybody, everybody wants to ask you a question about your Doberman. Everybody wants to pet him. Now, I know petting him sounds like an, an okay thing, but uh, it can get, you know, uncomfortable at times because he's also very, very protective. <coughs> He doesn't like I got something strange in my hand. He don't like it. And sometimes he could misunderstand the fact that they just want to pet him and want to protect you. And you really don't want that. I mean, I've had him nip at people like, <sighs> bark at people in a hateful way uh, and scare them. And they were just really wanting to see him. They just thought he was beautiful. And he is. He's a really beautiful dog. So that's one of the things that you should expect is a lot of attention. And you need to get him ready for that and, and prepare him for the fact that people are going to love him. <laughs> and he doesn't need to protect you from everyone. It's a hard thing to do. Uh, when we first got him, uh, it was kids. He was really leery of kids he was he was afraid of them he was worried about them so we had to introduce him to kids in a, in a friendly way um, another thing you should expect is he eats a lot he's a big eater because he's mostly muscle and his his whole body is is big muscle so he eats a lot and you want to feed him some kind of good food and I've got a video I'll try to post up there uh, about what to feed him and where to get his food he's a little intimidating and he scares people. We have a neighbor who's really afraid of him, even though he's never done anything uh, vicious or, or hurt anything or anybody. He just looks that way. And he will go out around the perimeter barking and letting you know other dogs and, and people know, hey, I'm here, this is my house. Um, he's very, very protective of a car. So we go places. And we leave him in the car. Now, I know that sounds terrible, but we leave the air conditioner on if it's summertime. We leave him with a really comfortable environment, and he's good to go. And he loves being in that car. Being in that car is what he loves. He, he would do anything uh, to get to go. And as soon as we get back from going someplace, he's ready to go again. Even on long trips, and I'll, I'll, I'll post up there the long trip we took to Florida, and he was still ready to go every minute uh, personal space forget it you have no personal space there is no space that belongs to you anymore <laughs> he's going to be all in your face he's going to be all over you in the house what? all about protection and love and velcro and he wants to be with you all the time uh, so he's going to want to go out and do his thing but he's going to come right back into you what you want in hey, hey, hey. back up back up wait okay you can't wait to get back in <laughs> If you have any questions about what it's like to live with a Doberman, just message me down below. I try to answer every comment, and I try to answer every question. 
Um, so just let us know. Hi, Chris. He's camera shy. I swear the dog is camera shy.